hello guys this is Victor and I'm back with another tutorial and on this tutorial we are going to be doing compressing and then we are going to be using a fat filter pro C2 compressor to compress so we I would I'm going to put you through on a lot of magic that you can perform using this plugin to compress your vocal compressor is one of the main major stuff that you need to use when it comes to mixing of vocals mixing of beat and then mastering of of any kind of media stuff you want to do so let's just take a look at what we are going to compress and how we are going to go about it so now we are going to talk about this and then we are going to be talking about how we can compress so before then i want us to just take a look at something that we call compressor and then the definition of compressor in my own name and language i think compressor is one of the plugin that helps in in squashing our vocals and also boosting the low aspect of it so what compressor does is that compressor help you to bring down the volume of your high volume you know when when a singer is about maybe trying to voice out his songs into the mic there is some kind of limit you cannot stand on the limit volume there are some aspects where your, vo your voice come down and there are some aspects where you have a higher tone of a vocal so what compressor does is that compressor helps you to align your vocal into its same volume and then boost this one into same volume so those one that are down the compressor helps you to boost it down to the level that you want so let's take a look at what we are going to do here so now you can see a fat filter compressor pro c uh, c2 so what it does here is that we have a threshold we have a ratio and we have styles we have attack and we have release we have auto gain we have dry we have a lot of stuff here range look ahead all this kind of hold all this kind of stuff you could see all these things have something that you can use that you can play with to give you the kind of sound that you want so now, now let's just talk about compressing a vocal because that is exactly what we are trying to do so now let's just try and have some kind of compressing of this vocal so what i did here is that when i'm compressing first of all so what i what i go straight to when i just load up my compressor into my fl studio is this i just go to the style I just select the vocal so after selecting this vocal now put it into vocal because there's a lot of styles you could choose here you could choose clean you could choose classic up to um to sorry mastering box punch and punching so there is a lot of stuff that you could select here depending on what you are doing so for me i am compressing a vocal an afro vocal to be prescribed but now so after you selecting your vocal here after i select it there's something i just want to do now i'll just go into this i'll select this and then go into vocal again so when you open the vocals you will see a lot of preset i don't know if i should call this preset but i think preset will be the right name for it so now let's just go into this we have aggressive aggressive bm we have biting bm we have control bm we have the essa bm and then we also have the essa stereo backing vocal bm pro vocal pro pro voice over B, bm so a, a lot of them that you could select so what i selected here is that i selected the up front up front so you could see i just selected the up front so when i selected the up front there is a reason why i am selecting the up front maybe when i'm mixing another sky style of beat or song or something i might not select this but i might not select this i might just put it into classic or clean and then work on the compressor but since i am having this kind of afro vocal and i want my voice i want the voice of the singer to shine on the beat so i am selecting the off front so that it could bring my vocal to the to the front so let's just take a look at it and see I tell you, baby, pull me to make I love you. Pull me tight, make I hold you. Drive me crazy for you. Hey, baby, my baby, pull me to make I love you. 
so now just like you know just like put on and headset and just understand what we are trying to do here so when i selected that now you can see that it already give me an automatic setting for upfront vocals so all what i just have to do is that i just have to just touch 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 a little bit of it and just have some kind of little touch so now let me just go into something like this that you will understand so what this stretch will do is that so let me just play it so you can see what he's doing here you could look he's trying to like dip duck down those louder part of it and then boost up those sides that are very low to the equal volume of the other one so now what this threshold do is that threshold when you tune this threshold because you could see it, it is minus 12.00 db so now what this point you see here like this does is that when i tune in tune it down you can see let me play my vocal so you listen to it when i bring it down so i don't know if anybody understand what is happening so now what is happening here is that when I brought I bring down this threshold down into minus 60.00 dB you can see that that the the breadth the breadth of the person singing since I haven't got rid of it because this vocal is still on work I'm not through mixing it so I'm going to be dealing with the aspect of the breadth so you can see that the breadth of the person singing is already is already competing with the vocal itself that was because I decided to turn down the threshold down. I squashed the beat too much big. That was the reason why you can hear it. Just listen to it again. Just take a look at the line. Look at the, look at, look at the red lines on what is boosting. So now you can see the breath. The breath is being boosted. So now. So now let me just. So now when you are, when you are compressing, your threshold should be your number one. So now when you can see your visual look of what is passing, like let me just take a look at the the wave that is passing. So now take a look at this wave now. So now let me take my threshold because I am mixing an Afro song. Let me just take my threshold down, upward, up, 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 up. Okay. Let me let me put it here. Let me put it here. So when I put it here now, that means what I'm trying to do is that any vocal any any loudness that is above this place to this red point should be cut off so that is the reason why i set my threshold to that so any other volume any other loudness that is more than this i don't need it it's going to be cut off and any volume that is much more down is going to boost it down to this minus of 12 db i don't think if you are getting what i'm saying so let me play it and see so as a producer i don't know how i'm going to be explaining it to you because when i play this vocal you can't hear me because maybe my voice might be too low but what i'm trying to say is that when the wave pass that is one of the things that you need to take hold of just take a look at it and just understand how it works so that is the work of your threshold so anytime you are handling your threshold that is the thing that you are going to do that is what you are going to be emphasizing and be dealing with so after our threshold we have a ratio this ratio is because i selected the off front i think i don't need the ratio that is the reason why you see it turn off so in maybe in our next tutorial when i am not dealing with upfront vocals we are going to be talking about the ratio when it comes to that but the ratio setting that you see now i think is the perfect uh, is, is perfect for my vocal because you could see i selected the preset which is called the upfront so now what we are going to be doing right now is that this attack and release attack and release is one of the major stuff you use when it comes to processing an afro vocals attack and release so now this is an afro vocal 
Afro vocal sometimes you need an a higher attack of compressor depending on the way the wave is coming up, depending on how fast is the person singing, so that your your compressor could attack it as fast as it can. So when you squash your vocal too much, when you compress it too much, you start having some kind of hardship when it comes to the music. So when you are compressing, you do a little of it. What I mean by a little, you just do a little of it. You don't just compress and just compress your vocal and then it sounds so hard. When you compress it that way, you find that when you are true with your mix and everything, you find that you, are, you, are, you didn't even do anything. There is nothing so important you just did because your vocal is over compressed. So now, the attack. Sometimes when I'm adding an attack to my vocal, I, I normally do add attack to my vocal up to um, like an, a 6.06 ms. But in this vocal, I didn't add any attack to it. So let me play it with the attack, without the attack. Let's see. So let me take the attack all the way up. So what do you observe? Let me take it all the way to to 250. So you could see that I am losing some kind of volume and some kind of is over compressed and I don't like it to be that way. So what we are going to do is that we are going to just take our attack all the way to around some 6 yeah, or 7. 7.993 mx so let's put it 7 6 let's put it on 6.54 and let's hear it I tell you baby oh me come make a love you oh me that make a hold you drive me crazy for you a belly baby my baby so you can see what the compressor is doing uh, the attack is doing so that is the work of the attack attack is something that you need to use on your afro vocals when you mix it so that is one of the things you need to consider when you make so let's go into the release release when we talk about release so when you attack the release talk about how you want your 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 compressor to let go of the co as in to release your vocal a little bit so when you're talking about it now so when you when you when your wave go into the compressor when the attack holds it how many release do you want it to release it a little bit for the easy pass for your soft vocal so when you are talking about afro vocal when you're mixing your vocal need to be soft so when because your voc vocal need to be soft you need to add a little bit of release so that it could allow your wave vocal to pass through the compressor easily without making it hard for the listener to listen to what and making the vocal sound soft to the person so now what you are going to do is that you just add a little bit of release to it just like i i just did it here so now just put it on to like on um, 53 or 58 and let me just uh, make it 58.4 ms you can see so now let's play it and see so for the upcoming producers um maybe when you are confused on some kind of plugin that you get so one of the things you need to do is just take the plugin all the way up then listen to it how it sounds with it then tune it down a little bit by bit and see the work of that actual range of what that thing is performing so let's take a look at something so you could see my vocal is easily passing through my compressor and it seems like it's not compressed at all so let me bring it down to this place here 54 so you can see so let's listen to it again so you can see what and actually what the compressor is doing and you could see what compressor is all about every compressor are the same 
so when you go to any other compressor that you want to use you could see threshold you could see attack you could see ratio you could see release you could see gain you could see dry you could see many other things so what this compressor does is what other compressor does so you can also apply this method to other compressor that you found that is going to be nice for your use so now what what we are going to be talking about next is this is the auto gain you can see auto gain so what this gain does is that this gain add a volume to your compressor because when you compress when you compress there's some kind of little little volume that you lost that you need to regain it back so when you put when you click on this auto gain you are letting the compressor know that please when i am done with all my compressing my attack my threshold and my release everything i'm going to be losing a volume and i and i don't know how to get the setting back so let this auto to auto gain now gain the vo the volume that I've already lost it so you can see that when it's already on this auto gain the auto gain is going to help you to is going to boost your vocal to the to the setting level that is going to match up with your beat for you so this auto gain is going to give you the kind of gain so let me get rid of the auto gain let's see I say on you, baby. So let me put on the auto gain. So you can see the little little difference on the volume. So on this tutorial, since I don't want this tutorial to be very long, I am going to be keeping off on this compressing level. So in our next tutorial concerning fat filter compressing, so we are going to be talking about the side chain aspect and then we are going to be emphasizing much more on the side chain but for now for this tutorial this is what you need as a producer and this is where your major focus need to be when you compress so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i remain victor brand and i'm bringing you more and more concerning vocal mixing thank you for subscribing